This video will show you how to add normalization or randomization to your protocol. I'll start with a plate that has four fluids dispensed as eight-point triplicates, and each of the different concentrations of the compound in this plate have different amounts of DMSO dispensed in each well. You may want to have the same amount of DMSO in every well, in which case you would use the normalization function of the software. First thing to do is to select the wells that you want normalized. So I can do Control A to select all the wells in the plate. Next I come up and click on the normalization function, and there are different ways to do normalization. In this case we're going to click on normalizing to a particular percent of total volume, and we're going to select 1% as our normalization amount. This will add DMSO to the wells that need it to normalize the DMSO concentration that's shown by the black triangles. If I click on Show Normalization, it shows that most of the fluid dispensed into each well is DMSO, shown in the gray. But I don't have to show that in my display. I can unclick that. Next thing you might want to do is to randomize the design. When there's edge effects in an assay, particularly for cell-based assay, you don't necessarily want to have the concentrations being distributed in the way that's shown here, so that all the high concentrations are at the edge. I can simply click on the randomized function to distribute the wells, the concentrations across the plate, and not correlate the concentration of the fluid with the location on the plate. In a subsequent video, we'll show you how to de-randomize the data using a separate application called Data Merge.